How's it going guys? Leon here and welcome to another architecture video. So this video is inspired by Matt D. Avelia, Ave, Aveya, D. Av I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry Matt, but this video was inspired by him. So Matt made a video a few days ago titled 12 Habits for Life. So in his video, he basically shares his 12 30-day habit experiment thingies. Let me explain. So the concept behind this is for each month of the year, you need to adapt one habit Ha hobbit habit <laughs> as i was saying for each month of the year you need to adapt one habit and do it for 30 days so by the end of the year you would have adapted 12 habits that will change your life for the better by committing to one habit for every month there's a higher chance of you sticking to that habit so yeah basically it's matt diavela's whole video that gave me the idea for today's video but instead of 12 habits i just narrowed it down to seven so these are the seven habits that you and i will be doing to become a great architect the first habit is sketching daily. It might not seem important right now, but sketching is a huge part of concept development when it comes to architectural design and planning. You can sketch whatever you want, you know, whatever is fun for you, just go sketch that. So this will help you improve your drawing skills and creativity. And before you know it, you are now a master at drawing. And this brings us to our second habit, which is to keep an idea sketchbook with you always. So for me, I keep this tiny pocket book right here with me most of the time and I customized it to hold like a tiny pencil right there so whenever I get random ideas I just write it down or I sketch them in this sketchbook I find that most of the time that I get great ideas I tell myself that I will remember those ideas when I get home and almost always I forget those ideas I would probably be a millionaire right now if I had kept all of my ideas Anyways, let's move on to our third habit. So the third habit is how I get those million dollar ideas that I, I forgot. Dang it, past Leon. The third habit is to get inspired. Find some time in your day to take a walk, take inspiration from nature, or look at other people's works. But if you live in a bad neighborhood, don't, don't take a walk. That's, that's like a bad idea. <laughs> you know, just go to Pinterest or Arc Daily and look at some of the things there that caught your attention and develop your ideas from those. It's okay to base your designs from another person's work as long as you aren't straight up copying them. Uh, you know, everyone starts from imitation. Eventually, you will develop your own style. Talking about developing your own style, habit number four is to develop a different perspective. Look at the world and think of how you can improve things. So look at things differently. Challenge existing ideas. You try to pick one object every day. Don't pick living creatures like your wife. You know, like you could use some improvement in the height department. You know, don't do that. You're, you're gonna have a very bad time. As I was saying, pick one non-living object and try to come up with a different design or approach as to how people will interact with that object. By doing this, you are exercising your creative architectural muscles. And no, I'm not talking about these guns. You know, cause I, I draw a lot and now my fingers have biceps. That joke sucked. Anyways, uh, I'm talking about the muscle right here. Is, is the brain even a muscle? So yeah, part of being an architect is improving the world around us, making life better for people and you know, architecture stuff. Moving on to our next habit. Habit number five that we need to develop is to read a book. As architects, we must have a very, very wide base of knowledge. And one way to achieve this is to read books. So there's no specific genre, like you could read the dictionary, you know, that's fine. I personally enjoy reading Twilight novels. Uh, what I'm saying is just go and read the books that interests you. Eventually, you will build a habit of reading and that is a good habit to have. But seriously though, for, just for the record, I don't read Twilight books. I, I don't. Just, just to make that clear, guys. Now it sounds like I, I actually read the books. Moving on to our sixth habit. Okay, so habit number six that you should develop is to save always, both digitally and physically. You guys don't know how many hours of work I've lost because I did not save. Like there's a sudden brownout and poof, my computer just decides to shut off and I forgot to save in AutoCAD or like SketchUp crashes and you just have to pray to the architecture gods that you have unconsciously saved during the last 10 minutes. Like what the hell does bug splat even mean? You're telling me that SketchUp decided to go to sleep and wake up with freaking amnesia. 
forgetting all the past works I've done for the past two hours. So yeah, control S every 10 minutes. That is your best friend, guys. Okay, so saving also applies in real life, not just on your digital softwares. Um, take pictures of your work just in case something bad happens. You have proof that you made it. Like, if you left your plates at the bus and now you got to talk to your teacher, just show your instructor or your professor that you really made your plates, show them the photo, and then hit them with this saying, Remember, it is the learning that is important, not the plates. And then watch your teacher give you like a F or something. <laughs> let's, let's move on to the seventh habit. Last but not the least, and definitely I think the most important habit is to smile. It is scientifically proven that the act of smiling will actually lift up your mood. Due to your brain releasing some sort of feel-good chemicals and whatnot. So just smile. It's free and no matter what problems you guys have, be it that super hard subject in school or a very, very unreasonable client or you're stuck in the bus and you have to poop real bad, just smile. Although people might think you're a weirdo, but you know, who cares? Whatever it is, you will get through it and you may not notice it, but your mood has a great effect on your designs. If you are in a bad mood, your designs will reflect what your mood is. So just smile guys and on that happy note, I guess, that is the whole video. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys learned something from this video. And I hope I've inspired some of you guys out there who are struggling with architecture school because that is the whole purpose of this whole channel and this whole videos that I do. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe down below for more architectural videos. Vi videos? Videos from me, your boy Lian. I'll see you guys on our next video. Flying peace!